Hey guys, back during the Toronto International Film Festival, I got the chance to sit down with the cast of Brooklyn and we played a little Would You Rather. Check it out. Game two is a movie version of Would You Rather. So, would you rather get to do as many takes as you'd like or have to nail it in one? Uh, as many takes as I like. Nail it in one. I like pressure. Oh! No, we'll get to do as many takes as you like and then you treat as though you have to nail it in one. Would you rather watch your least favorite performance over and over or never get to see your best? Of mine. Of yours. Oh. I never get to see my best, I'm fine with that. Never get to see my best. Never get to see my best. Would you rather have no movies released for five years or ten in one year? Ten in one year. Work is work. Do I have to promote them? Yes. <laughs> That's the whole point <laughs> No of the movies question. for five years. <laughs> <laughs> That's totally fair. Yeah, yeah. You would just be you would just be promoting all the time and you'd never get to work. So I'd rather be working. Would you rather take a film on the festival circuit or be part of a big studio festival. tour? Festival. Yeah. All day. All day. Have you had any uh, experiences that, you know, you would give advice to an actor going to a festival for the first time to make the most of the experience? Um, just do what you're told and try to survive. What about festival, like, fouls or no-nos? Have you ever, you know, had a missed opportunity yourself or seen someone do anything that makes you think, you know, never do that? I mean, I don't know. I don't really, I'm, nothing comes to mind of festival no-nos that I can remember. So that's probably the issue. <laughs> Would you rather act opposite an enormous CG creature or a real animal? Depends on the animal. What kind of animal? If it's a dangerous animal, then I'll go with the CG. And if it's an animal which won't take my head off, then I'll go with the animal. I'll so like puppies and kittens? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'd be fine with that. I'd watch a movie with you and puppies and kittens. Oh, listen, I, I mean, I wouldn't. It'd end up being my worst one, as we said. But uh, no, yeah, that would be good. I love, you should see the family dog. He's amazing, Seamus. Looks like he's got a wig. He's got little curls on top of his head for some reason, I don't know why. Would you rather have to sign on to a project without reading the script or without knowing who you're going to work with? Without knowing who I'm going to work with. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Without reading the script. No! No, I, I can't, I'm not doing that one. Have you been in a lot of situations where you can't read the script? Uh, not before signing on. I'd never do that. Although you do... There's like big auditions that everyone goes for for the big franchises where they just won't let you read the script. I was gonna say, better follow up question. Do yeah. you have like a franchise in mind where like you'd be like, no, I'll do that no matter what? Yeah, I think if it was Star Wars or something, it's like obviously, yeah, you know, because you know, I mean, it looks so amazing. Um, and Donald actually got the part when he was about to rap on Brooklyn and he couldn't tell anyone about it. So he was like gone one day and we all found out that he had gotten this role and then he came in cool as a cucumber on Monday morning and we were like <laughs> lightsabers. Um, so yeah, that probably that one. Thanks so much for watching. Brooklyn is currently playing in select theaters and is due to expand on November 25th, so be sure to check it out. If you dug this video, click the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel so you can stay up to date with everything going down here on Collider.